Welcome to part two of using Excel in Windows. In this video, we will make a standard curve using the data we worked with in tutorial one. For this example, imagine that in an upcoming experiment, we will be measuring the changes in substance A's concentration using a spectrophotometer, and we will use the absorbance to calculate the actual concentration. To do this, we need to first create a standard curve that relates known concentrations of A to the amount of light absorbed by A. In video one, I showed you how to calculate the means for three absorbance values. Now we will make the standard curve. Start by selecting the type of chart you want from the insert ribbon. In this case, we want a scatter graph with no point joining. We are not joining the points because we want to add a best fit line and joining the points now will make for a messy graph at the end. Right click the chart and choose select data from the menu. Sometimes Excel will guess what you want to plot and go ahead and plot it. Usually it guesses wrong, but it is easy to remove Excel's guess by deleting anything that shows up in the chart data range. When you have a blank chart, click the Add Series button. Since we only have one series, you don't need to give it a name. Simply go ahead and select the X and Y values. Next to the X values, click the box with the red arrow. This takes you to the, your sheet, and now you can select the cells that contain the values you want on the X axis. Remember, when you are making a scatter graph, the control variable always goes on the X, which in this case is the concentrations. Once the X values are selected, hit Enter or Return. Now repeat this process to select the Y values, which in this case are the mean values for the three replicates. You can see from the preview, we have something that looks like a straight line. Click OK to finish selecting data. Before adding the best fit line, I like to clean up the chart a bit. Remove the unnecessary grid lines by clicking on one and hitting delete. Since we only have one series, it is not helpful to label it. Simply remove the series label. Finally, add X and Y axis labels by switching to the chart layout ribbon and selecting the axis labels you want from the axis titles menu. Remember when labeling the axes to give descriptive titles and units. I've deliberately left this example with no units. Use the appropriate units for your graph. Depending on what you are going to do with this graph, you may or may not want to add a chart title. If you are simply putting this in your notes or handing it in as part of an assignment where you don't need to write a figure legend, go ahead and give the chart a title, but make it a meaningful title that is not concentration A versus absorbance. I'm going to call it standard curve for A. Now we will add the best fit line. In Excel, this is called a tread line. Click on one of the points in the graph. This highlights all the points in this series. Right click and choose add trend line. This is a linear trend line, so choose a linear trend regression type. Now select options. Because we're going to use this best fit line to calculate the concentrations of some unknowns, I would like to see the equation for this line on the graph. I also want to see how well this line fits, so I'm going to show the R squared values. And finally, I'm going to set the Y intercept to zero because a sample with no component A in it should have an absorbance of zero. To calculate the concentrations of your unknown, simply enter the equation of the line next to your known absorbance value. The absorbance is the Y value in your equation, so reference the cell holding the absorbance value when you enter the equation. The video, see video one for more info on entering equations. Just in case you ever need to have multiple data series on the same graph, I will show you how to do this here. Let's say we had another set of standards that were set up under a different condition, say a different temperature, and we want to see if this makes a difference to the absorbance values. Let's go back to the original chart and add the second series. Right click the chart and choose Select Data. Click Add under Series and select the X and Y values for the second set of data. Now it becomes useful to have a series title for each data set. For Series 1, I will use Temp 1, and for Series 2, Temp 2. Generally, you won't be using best fit lines with multiple series, but if you do, make sure it is obvious which equation goes with which. And finally, remove the labels for the lines. These are not useful and clutter up your graph. In video 3, I will show you how to add error bars to your chart. 